Introduction to Design and Analysis of Algorithm First of all, what is an algorithm? An algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure to solve a particular problem. In other words, it is an informal description of solving a problem. So, why analysis of algorithms is done? What is the significance of analysis of algorithms? Consider a scenario in which there is a small project team with a project lead and two team members. Suppose this team is given a task to solve a problem and implement it in a given programming language, say for example Java. Now what the project lead will do is, instead of directly asking his team to implement the solution in the given programming language, he will create a problem statement and he'll provide the problem statement to both the team members and then he'll ask both the team members to come up with an algorithm showing a step-by-step -step procedure of how they will solve the problem. Now, both the team members will work on the problem statement independently. Since their views, their way of thinking and solving the problem is different, both of them came up with a different algorithm. So, team member 1 came up with algorithm 1 and team member 2 came up with algorithm 2. Both the algorithms are presented to the project lead. Now, the project lead is having two algorithms for solving the same problem. That is, two ways of solving the same problem. He found that both the algorithms are logically correct. Now, what he has to do is, Instead of randomly picking any one algorithm from these two, he should choose the best algorithm from these two so that the best algorithm can be used for implementation in the required programming language. Here comes the significance of analysis of algorithms. The analysis of algorithms is done to find the best algorithm from among a set of algorithms which are designed to solve one particular problem so the problem process flow is given a problem there can be different ways of solving the problem based on that there can be different algorithms we can analyze these designed algorithms and find the best algorithm such that it can be used for implementation in the required programming language now, the question is, what is meant by this best algorithm? How the project lead could identify that which one is the best algorithm compared to the other? Suppose algorithm 3 is implemented it into a program and is fed to the machine to run. Now, while running on the machine, this program will consume two factors. One is the time. And other is the space. Similarly, algorithm 1 is implemented it into a program and is fed to the machine. Now while running on the system, this one will also consume both the time and the space memory space, running time and memory space. Same the case with algorithm 2. Now, which algorithm will consume less running time and less memory space among these is considered to be the best algorithm. The analysis of algorithm is done in terms of two factors. One is the running time and other is the memory space. So, among the set of algorithm, the algorithm which corresponds to the program which consumes less running time and less memory space while running on the machine is considered to be the best algorithm. The running time is also referred to as the time complexity and the memory space it is also referred to as the space complexity. First, we shall discuss about the running time of the algorithm or the time complexity of the algorithm. So the problem is we are not going to run the algorithm on the machine and going to calculate the running time of the algorithm on that particular machine. Before implementing it into the program itself, 
that is by analyzing the algorithms itself we should be able to find out what will be the running time or what will be the space required for the algorithm if it is implemented as a program and if it is run on the machine for that that is to calculate what would be the running time and what would be the space complexity of an algorithm we should identify which are the factors affecting the running time or the time complexity or the sp memory space or the space complexity of the algorithm if we run an algorithm if we run a program on a particular machine there are many factors which affect the time complexity of that algorithm for example uh, the type of the processor the type of operating system and so many architectural dependent factors determine the running time of a program but we need not bother about such architecture dependent factors by keeping such factors as constant there is one factor which is common to all the algorithm that is the size of the input input size why because for some algorithms when the size of the input is less that algorithm may work fine but as the size of the input is go on increasing if it crosses a particular limit then the performance of the algorithm becomes weak that is the running time or the time complexity of the algorithm will increase at a very faster rate along with the increase in the input size suppose and let n be the size of the input so the running time or the time complexity of the algorithm is calculated as a function f as a function f of n where n is the size of the input suppose f1 f1 of n be the running time of the algorithm 1 and f2 of n is the running time of algorithm 2 where n is the input size now uh, we have plotted a graph in which f is a function with respect to n now the running time of algorithm 1 f1 of n goes like this it increases then decrease a little bit and as the size of the input is increasing f1 of n is increasing now f2 of n is increasing like this now while we observe this graph we can see that when n is less than n naught that is whenever the size of input is less the time required the running time of algorithm 2 is less than the running time of algorithm 1 which means algorithm 2 is performing better than algorithm 1 but as size of as the value of n increases whenever the size of input go on increasing the time required the running time of algorithm 2 is increasing at a very faster rate compared to the running time of algorithm 1 which means that algorithm 1 is performing better than algorithm 2 whenever the size of the input is high it means that asymptotically by based on the analysis of algorithm and our algorithm 1 is performing better than algorithm 2 now analyzing the algorithm analyzing the time complexity and space complexity of the algorithm is done in three cases one is the best case then worst case and average case what is best case for each algorithm uh, for a particular scenario or whenever some particular type of input is provided the algorithm shows its best behavior it is called the best case performance of the algorithm and uh, the time complexity is corresponding to that is called the best case time complexity and worst case is the case or scenario in which or for some particular input the algorithm shows its worst behavior and it is called the worst case performance of the algorithm and average case is the case in which the algorithm shows its average behavior to understand these three cases let's consider the example of linear search Suppose an array is provided and we need to search for an element. We know that in linear search we will go through the entire uh, iteration of the loop and will compare each and every element with the element being searched. 
Now when do the bus case occur in case of linear search? Whenever the element being searched is present at the first position itself. Here if we are searching for the element 4 then at first position itself we can find out the element so we need not to go through the remaining iteration of the loop we can exit there so it is the best performance that can be given by the linear search now when do the worst case occur in case of linear search in two cases one suppose if the element is present at the last position or Suppose the element is not even present in the array. In both these cases, we have to go through the entire iteration of the loop and compare each and every element. That is the worst performance given by the linear search. And when do the average case occur in case of linear search? Whenever the element being searched is present somewhere at the middle position. In that case, we have to compare only half of the elements. In this case, we are searching for element 1 the average case occur so next video we can see each case in detail and how to calculate the asymptotic time complexity of the algorithm in the best case worst case and average case and the asymptotic notations corresponding to that